Okay, it was really scary. Okay, I'm the type of person who, who will do things that supposedly take care, courage, but uh, I, will, I will crumble a little the whole time. So there's a little crumbling going on. <laughs> Oh my god, twinsies. <laughs> we found this random house. So we're gonna go in it. We're in the middle of nowhere in Arizona, somewhere near the Grand Canyon. But we saw this cool old house here covered in spray paint. So we had to pull over and uh, take a look. Plus, what we really want to go and do is business. He's a little business man. I'm excited. So where are we at? Why do you always go? Mm -mm. There we go. So I can actually be in it. Hi. Uh, we're at an old abandoned house that uh, has gorgeous, I'm assuming, tagging inside. It is along the side of the road going to Grand Canyon. And uh, it kind of stuck out against this gray horizon. So we need to go check it out. Check it out. Yeah, so let's go check it out. Come on, Lumps. Happy B Day, Wolfie. What does that say? Penal Code Army? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's so cold in here. Yeah, it's, it's colder in here than it is. Uh... Oh my God. There's a roll up door here. Purple rain, keep it hippie, stay up. I think the glasses are in the window. Trek America. Hashtag scrumpy. I can't do that. Hashtag scrumpy. Hey, I gotta put a leave today thing here. Yeah, absolutely. Word, wonderful tagging and leave today. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun So I'm not sure what this place was called But I do know this If you ever need to hide a body And you happen to be near the Grand Canyon This spot That's it With you and I the future is bright Look at those uh, volcanoes in the distance. You see? I guess that makes sense. Well, that probably maybe at one point there were volcanoes. That's what I mean. Red Mountain Trailhead. That's oh my god! Red Mountain looks amazing. Yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. I need to. I wish I would have pulled over there. Bye, my baby. Yeah, Lumpy's tired out, huh? Yeah. Too much fun, I guess. Actually, not too much of anything. He just likes to sleep when he gets the opportunity. And um, So that way he can be alert in between. Parking exactly. Things. I mean, who knows? A laser light might come into being at any moment, and he's got to be perky for that shit. Yeah, no, he springs to action. If a laser right. light were to appear right now, uh -huh. he would just Should be, be. <laughs> like, his hands would be moving a million yeah. miles a second. Yeah. I'm trying to record myself and get like a fun teenager view, but um... You can use my thing now. I'm not what? using that right now. Your what? This whole my thing? My phone holder? A phone holder? Okay. Is that this? No, this is the camera. Okay. The phone holder is on the window. Window. Oh, this thing. Whoa, what is that? We might cross, <laughs> run across yes. these things? That's interesting. I don't know what those are, maybe elk. I'm pretty sure that was a jackalope. 
We might run across some jackalopes here. I got my eyes peeled for jackalopes. I don't see any. Think, uh, is, is there anything that will me in? Do you think Coco Pelli? Alright, that's awesome. Do you think Coco Pelli is uh, there to like combat um, the influence of, uh, of you know Native American genocide by Caucasians? Listen, I'm not into like deep conversations while I'm doing an eye. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. This is a trademark violation. <laughs> I bet you. In the town of Flagstaff, where are the lawyers that. come to take you down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, we need a dump. Bedrock City. Oh, yeah, I bet we could dump there. Yes. <gasps> I just found a place we could dump. We gotta turn around. We're gonna have to turn around so we can do this dump. Grand Canyon vehicle fee, $35. What? So we're looking for a place to dump our RV. And we found the Flintstones place. And uh, hopefully Fred is generous enough to let us uh, use their dump station. So just finished dumping here at the uh, Bedrock uh, dump station here in Flintstone, Arizona, or wherever the heck we are. $12, not bad, but they didn't have any water. Apparently all the water for this area is trucked in. So without water, we just were able to dump our pipes, but not really take care of getting our thing filled up so we can get to our next camping site, Boondock. Which means when we get to uh, Tussion or Tuxion, Tuxion? Tuscany, wherever this is, we're gonna have to find water. Oh, you guys ready to go? No, we have to go to the bathroom now. I just drained the black tanks. That's why we have to go to the bathroom now. So we're just, we waited. Alright, well, I'll go across the street to mobile. Wow. This is old timey gas station that's filled with unicorns. I don't think it's a working gas station. We're doing all the heavy work, and by we, I mean not me. Hi. Uh, in order to go to the Grand Canyon today, which was like major destination. Yay. There's a pair of sun over there on that table. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Turn around and say hi to the camera. Morning. morning. My husband has decided to be Irish today, We're but also to maybe Scottish. Canyon. Yeah, so it's very annoying. <laughs> Slash, I completely love it. Go get your phone. Okay. The top of the morning to you, folks. What a fine day it is. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's time to get going. Where's my keys? Has anybody got my keys? I'm, I have keys. I'm not sure if they're yours. Hold on. Ah, crap. Sorry. Go. It's okay. Come Go. on. Go. Yeah, yes. you did it. Good boy. Yes. All right. There's these socks, which are not helpful. And there's these keys. All right. I win. I win. I win. I win. Run, Canyon. I'm very excited. This line doesn't look too long. 
long. I've heard sometimes these lines are extremely long. We just pulled up with only, let's say, four cars ahead of us. Uh, we are here Come at 9.43, so fairly early. Oh, they're so cute. You're walking in the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. There's lots of people around. My phone is not dead, but I have no service. Where's that camera either way? Probably your phone, though. Yeah. Lumpy, come here. Up. Oh. Oh my god, look! Oh my god, he's actually looking. He does. <laughs> What's up there? What is that? So we're here at the Mather Point, which is super duper crowded. Hey baby! Where are you going? I'm really excited we're at Grand Canyon. Me too. Uh, every angle. Every angle is gorgeous. Wow, look at that little rock tree right there. That is awesome. Yeah. My camera died. Hey, look at that side. It is, it is the depth of the entire thing and that your mind tries to like figure out as you are looking at it. Is there any water in here? Yeah, the center of it. Yeah. Is uh um, the Colorado River? Is that right? But I don't know if it's actually flowing through it anymore because of the Mansfield Dam, right? Or Ooh, Hoover Dam or whatever it is. I feel like there's water that goes through, but I could be wrong. Not like it used to. This is the Colorado River. So when you see that green area down at the very, very bottom with the yeah, little trails through that. it, and see where it leads over to that water flowing uh -huh. that way? Yeah. Colorado. Crack in and, and camp down in the cabin. I think my dad wants to do that. Yeah. I want to do that. Maybe. I'm hearing no toilet. <laughs> We're talking about phones right now because we're ooing and aahing over this phone and its beautiful pictures. girl I'm a Samsung girl but you know the camera but this camera is so good it's so good it's just This is a long path. We've got nearly a mile to go to get to the museum, and then another mile to get to the other visitor center, right?
there's all these little cuts where you can get like off the trail and head over to a more dangerous vantage point to get your, you know, uh, suicide selfie or whatever they're calling them these days, uh, which are fun, but they scare Luna a lot. Yeah, no, I'm scared. Yeah. You should have seen her when I tried to jump over a little gully at the uh, face, cave face, what do you call it? It was Skull Rock. He's just like, hey, get a picture of this. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't, no. Ah, ha, ha. Hey, baby, you want to get some dangerous vantage point pictures? Yeah. Yes, I will, but I need to not have to fight over it with ugly. Of course you want to go. Oh, you want to come? Okay. okay. I kind of just hopped from my butt down to here. This way, this way, this way. You're going the wrong direction. I'm doing what I would like to do. Okay. I have shorter feet, shorter legs and stuff than you do. All right. And then butt again. Oh no. This first day. All right. And then butt. You're gonna slide to here. Okay. <laughs> Stop. But. 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 Luna, get ready to take a picture of us out there. Here's a little pointy edge right there. I don't want to go all the way there. I really don't want to go all the way there. Okay. Now we're way out above it. Way above it. Okay. All right, babe. Luna, no, no, take a picture. All right. Babe. Hold on. Wait. We uh, came out to this point. I'm scared. It's uh, my fingers are tingling. Over the edge. It's really cool. Uh, very excited about it. But yeah. we got to get out of the way so these next few can go. Yeah. No. Let's take have our picture taken. Put your thing down. Oh. Please. So tell me what you think. Okay, so I, what am I thinking about what we about, just did? About what we just did. Okay, it was really scary. Okay, I'm the type of person who, who will do things that supposedly take care of courage, but uh, I, will, I will crumble a little the whole time. So there's a little crumbling going on, but it's beautiful, it's awe-inspiring, and I only look down until it's time to hit the picture. <laughs> I loved it. I had a great time. I like the edge. It was fun. Luna is really upset. Luna was very upset because I did a Y. And it's, yeah. <laughs>
What you looking at? I'm learning about how the Grand Canyon was formed, and I can't tell you how much I'm geeking out on all of this. I love it. Actually, this is my favorite over here so far because it's like a long, long, long time ago geography, and uh, it began with it has a, uh, the sea floor. Here, here we go. The sea floor is going under the edge of North America, so these islands that were already like there, created by North crashed into it and then they all kind of couldn't get out of it and they all became muddled together to become the basement rocks. Eventually wind and rain and all that kind of turned it into a plain. So it's flat basement rock. Am I saying the right word? Basement mm -hmm. rock. Yes, that's right. So I love this part, this crash bang boom of the world together. That's that's the part that really I don't know, something about it really intrigues me. Nice. Yeah. Chocolate bites. Chocolate bites. It also makes sense that the Colorado River is not the thing that actually created this. When you think of the fact that the ocean was so close to it previously. So what you were telling me about how the uh, Colorado River goes one way and the Grand Canyon was created through water that went the opposite direction. That totally makes sense when the fact that our world was all like like that previously? Mm -hmm. Oh look, here's a Grand Canyon and it's super buried under all the stuff. Mm -hmm. ah, that's awesome! Over the last few million years, active volcanoes poured lava into the Western Canyon, ponding the Colorado River briefly. So it turned the Colorado River into a pond at one point. But uh, the river scored, scoured, scoured those lava dams away. So I, earlier I said the Grand Canyon didn't have pines. I guess I'm wrong. There's pines everywhere. But there's also cactuses and aloe. This is like the combo of... Which cactus? There's lots of cactus. This is like the combination of all of the regions of Arizona we've been to kind of rolled into one. Oh, along with a massive gash. <laughs> it's got an owie. strong because it was before there were any dams to like make the Colorado River less uh, squirrely and so they had to basically had to be able to survive being crashed up against rocks in order to stop and take a rest and blah 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 that's how they stopped was crashing against the rocks so it had to be able to withstand them and then keep going down that Colorado River At first I thought this Karen was awesome until I realized they bolted it into place. That's totally cheating. Look. I got you guys through the through the footage meter. Say something. What is it? We're now done with our first leg of our Grand Canyon trip. The puppy cannot go on the shuttle. We had to make sure it could be a round trip. Also, supposedly it's going to thunder and lightning in about half an hour or so. We're trying to make sure we don't get stuck in that without a way back on that shuttle. <laughs> so first leg, done. Done? Mm -hmm. Done. So we decided to uh, go on a little hike while Luna is over at the Starbucks doing some homework and getting caught up on her classwork. Might as well hike through the forest area around our campsite. Gad's over there playing with uh, Lumpy. 
Find their cat. Oh wow. Orange flower, an orange flower that I love very much. No idea what kind, but that's how I roll. That's pretty. done with our precious campsite that we love so much that Lucifer loves so much and we are now on our way to dump to fill up on water and then on to the next adventure we're actually kind of uncertain hi here I bring you my masterpiece the dam. It's not nearly as impressive as it is in the movies. 